Hey, this is Michael from michaelsaves.com, and today I wanna to show you how to get started with Hulu Live TV using a Roku device. Hulu Live TV is my favorite live TV streaming service because of the content, but some people say they have trouble finding the content they want to watch because of the navigation. It's definitely different from cable TV, but I think you're gonna like it once you get the hang of it, and that's what this video is for. So once you open up Hulu Live TV, you need to create a profile. After you sign up for your free trial, this is the first step. I'm just gonna create a test profile to show you exactly what it's like when you sign up for Hulu Live TV for the first time. Throwing in a sample birth date here, and we'll be on our way in just a second. Using my Roku remote, clicking OK to create a profile, and now the personalization begins. You want to personalize your profile because it's gonna make it so much easier to find the shows and movies that you want to watch on Hulu Live TV. It'll ask you to choose your interests. You just navigate up, down, left, and right, and click OK when you find something that you like. Clicking up to the top, and then OK to move on to the next menu. Asking for a few shows, just going to select a few, then I'm moving on to sports. Starts with football, but if you move up, you can move to the right and to the left. Choose your favorite team. And then I'm moving up and moving on. Finally, your favorite networks, and I'll have more on the channel lineup a little bit later on. That's one of the reasons why I really like Hulu Live TV. Going to click finish. So this is it. And right now we are on the home screen. And as you see, the recommendations are based on all of that personalization that I just did. In addition to the lineup that they have here, you can search your channels. These are the channels that I selected. There's also a bunch of different categories to help you find stuff to watch really quickly. I spend most of my time with the live TV guide and when you press down, you'll get the live TV guide. This just has a list of all the networks and what's on right now, as well as what's coming up immediately next. Now you see, I keep clicking to the right and nothing else comes up. All you can see is what's on right now and what's up next when you're using Hulu Live TV with a Roku device. Moving on from Live TV, I'm gonna show you my stuff. Now this is where you manage your DVR. And speaking of the DVR, you get 50 hours of cloud DVR storage with Hulu Live TV in the base plan. That costs $40 a month as of December, 2018. Who knows what's gonna happen next year. If you want to be able to fast forward through commercials of your DVR recordings, that's gonna cost you extra, $15 a month. But you'll also get 200 hours of cloud DVR. I'm all about keeping costs low, so I've been able to manage with the 50 hours and not being able to fast forward through the commercials. I'll show you how to add something to the DVR in just a second. Now, as I move up to the top menu, I click right, I'm under Browse. Clicking on Networks. I'm navigating all the way to the right because I want to give you a list of the channels that come with Hulu Live TV. You may or may not get local channels. That depends on your zip code. You can enter it on Hulu's website and find out. Regional sports, it's the same thing. But here are some of the main networks. A&E, Big Ten Network is there, Bravo. News will have CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News, Discovery, Disney, ESPN, Fox Sports 1 and 2, HGTV, History, Lifetime. These are just a few of the highlights. SEC Network is there, TLC, USA. If you prefer to browse by TV shows, you can do that too. And this is great because it'll help you find some of that on-demand content. You get Hulu Live TV, but you also get Hulu's entire library with the limited commercials plan. That's included for $40 a month. 
If you would like the no commercials plan of the standard Hulu service, you can pay an extra $4 a month for that. But from this menu, it's where you might want to search for some of the Hulu originals that are offered. And if you can't find anything using live TV or the browse function, you can always search for it. Let's say I want to watch Seinfeld. I've put in two letters and look, it's already there at the top. So now I'm going to show you how to add something to your DVR. You see right below Seinfeld, it has the star. So I'm going to click the star for options. And I can click OK to add the series to my stuff. Just navigating back to my stuff. And there it is. There's Seinfeld. Clicking down because I want to check out the recording options. You have an option to record this program to Cloud DVR or not. Seinfeld is part of Hulu's traditional service, so all the episodes are there. I really don't need to record it to the DVR. And then the second option is probably best for current season episodes or series that are currently running because it'll ask you whether to record new episodes or new end reruns. In addition here, under the show, I really like how it gives you this you may also like tab. Hulu is always trying to help you find something else to watch and this is just another way that they show you what else is on the service. So I think I did a pretty good job of giving you the um, ins and outs of how to get around Hulu for the very first time. I wanna recap the pros and cons of Hulu because this is the best live TV streaming service for me, but it's not going to be the best live TV, st TV streaming service for everyone. A few things to consider. You are limited to two streams at a time. That means I can watch this TV, I can watch one in the bedroom, but I can't have a third TV running with Hulu in the basement. Also, you cannot watch outside of your home network. When you're on the road, you can only watch using the mobile service. You can watch on your cell phone, but I can't bring my Roku and plug it in at my family's house in Florida and also have the service in Atlanta. That is done to prevent people from sharing accounts. The other thing is that DVR, if you want to fast forward through the commercials, you're gonna to have to pay an extra $15 a month, and this really doesn't become all that cost-effective. You may wanna look at other services. For me, this is worth it because I really like the quality of Hulu Live TV, and I like the content. I don't know of a streaming service that has a better mix of news, entertainment, sports networks, and that entire streaming library for only $40 a month. So I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I've tested Hulu Live TV as well as all the other streaming services. I can tell you the ins and outs of all of them. Uh, thanks for watching and visit my blog for more information, michaelsaves.com.